faithful, you hear me? Okay, see you again soon, okay? Hey, take care of your friend. Get him home safe, please. Alright now, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, y'all. Goodness gracious, I cannot believe they are still standing. Now, hold on a minute. Those are geese. Hey, hey. Oh. I try not to judge, but I really should have known when I saw the pointy ears. I'm going to have to find some way to get safe. I'm not better than to get swindled like that. You must have snuck in on me. How you doing? Hmm. I heard folk talking about the dancing Drew being back on those docks. I didn't quite believe them. Shows you what I know. How are you, dear? Must admit, Cordelia. You've looked better. <laughs> I feel like every time I'm seeing you these days, you come in looking more and more worse for wear. You burned in the candle at both ends? I don't believe you. What can I do for you today, darling? Just a drink and some food. You sure you're alright? I'm not one to be rude and all, but, uh, those bags under your eyes, darling, they, they're something fierce. You understand? Is there seaweed in your hair? No, no, honey, this will not do. I will not be standing for this. I'm taking care of you tonight, okay? No. No. I do not want to hear it. I am taking care of you. You have entered the friendly flagon and in, but most people tend to forget that second bottle and just kind of mash it all together. I didn't think about that with the Brandon, but why yes. I'm so happy you asked. I do own this place. Oh, it's such a good story, but you know what? How about I get you a drink, I get you some food, and I'll tell you the tale, okay? I gotta get some cleaning up done anyway. I got some linens to fold on account of everything's closing up, and I'd like to be set for tomorrow. So I can get you some food, fold some things, and I can tell you all about it. And then we're gonna get you taken care of, because, um, you look terrible. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, let me go ahead and see what we've got still. I think we're all out of stew. I know we're all out of spice cake. I'm sorry. That's what happens when you come at the end of the night. Do I have some sesame buns still that I just brought over? It's the last full of the batch. Okay, so you'll take some savory sesame buns. Uh, but drinking, what are you feeling? Well, we've got all sorts of ales, we've got meads, we've got wines, and we've got some spirits. Let me go over the list with you. Okay, I know we've got a hazy grifter, that one tends to be quite popular, and the honey badger brew for our ales. And then for meads, we've got our wildflower mead, our moonlight meadow, and then we've got our brambleberry mead. For wines, we've got a wolfberry wine, we've got a false fay wine, we've got our special Roanoke Red, which you know how difficult it is to get your hands on some of that, on account of it's got to come down over those mountains. And finally, for our spirits, we've got the Rabbit Rabbit, the Dragon Slayer, and my personal favorite, Delvin's Downfall. You want to try that last one? I think you'll like it. Okay, let me go ahead and put that together. It is my very own special recipe, and then we'll get to chatting, all right? Yeah, I'm gonna make that drink extra strong for you. How about that? Okay. All right, 
Just check it. Got your drink right here. Let me just put the finishing touches on it. I came up with this recipe with one of my new employees. And they were the one that Dylan took to the Grove. So we decided that we would finish off the drink with a cinnamon stick to make it look like those twiggy little branches down by the grove are just supposed to be trees. Let me see here. I want to make sure I'll pick the best one for you. They smell divine, don't they? Only the finest from my establishment. I think we'll go with... I'll do this one. I want one that's got a good curly cue on it. There we are. Stir there. Mm. I know it smells heavenly. Okay. There's this for you. I will go ahead and sit on the table down here for you. If you need a top up on that, you just let me know, okay? No, don't even. Don't you even start with that. You are in my establishment. I'm taking care of you. It's about time you let someone else take care of you for once. Do not even bring up gold in my presence. I do not want to hear it. Now. How many of these you want? Well, they go off the oven like hotcakes, so you best get your food while you can. Alright, I'll set this down with your drink. There. You can go ahead and finish those up if you'd like. Again, let me know if you want to top up on that drink of yours. I'm just going to get to folding some of my linens here, and I think that's really it for you. Is there anything else I can get for you while I fold some things? No? Alrighty, you just let me know if you change your mind, okay? Alright. Goodness gracious, where do I even start? I guess I start where we left off last time, really. Before you went on that next adventure of yours, I went to that fortune teller I was telling you about. She was, um, interesting, to say the least. Told her all of my troubles. And well, she told me to go for it. Delvin, that is. Well, I marched myself right on back to that tavern. Got up the gumption and spilled my guts to the man. It, um, didn't quite go the way I thought it would. Kind of got laughed out of my job. But then, unfortunately and fortunately for me, remember that councilman I was telling you about? The new young one. He was there. Saw the whole thing unfold. Told me he lacked my gumption. Mm hmm. And then. There's still a few stragglers in here, so I'll keep my voice down. I know you know how to keep a secret, though. He told me that he lacked my gumption. And that he had a business opportunity for me. And that he'd help me open up my own bar in heaven. So long as I kept a room in the back for him and his friends to use. I just had to not tell anyone about it. And when they use a secret code, I just take him on back in there. I say nothing, I come back out of 
here like nothing ever happened. And I've got my own bra. I know. So anyway. At first, it was just business. I mean, I wasn't gonna say no to someone funding an entire bar for me. He then even went ahead to fund the inn as well. So I've got the life of my dreams now. But between you and me, I think he might have developed a little thing for me. I know it. Bought me this dress and everything, and now he goes to visit every time he gets a chance. that drink treating you? You good? You want more? Alright. Alright. Yeah. All I have to do is take him and his friends to the back room anytime they come back. And I get the whole place to myself. And I get to give Delvin a word for every single day of his life. For the rest of his life. And watch as his bar comes tumbling down because he wouldn't listen to my business sense. He could have had it all. A man could have had it all. I mean, I'm the whole package. What more could you want? So, that's my story. What's yours? You went all the way there? Goodness, Cordelia, no wonder you look terrible. And saw who? It could talk in your head? Never even heard of something like that before. Well, apart from the sorceress, but she doesn't do that much often. Was it safe? Who am I kidding? I know it probably wasn't safe if it was something you did. Did you at least find what you were looking for? Well, of course I can get you a pen and paper. The shop hang on, be right back. Here you are. Let's set the inkwell right next to you. What's it for? What is this? Cordelia, I'm familiar enough with scrolls. People use them to try to pay sometimes and Depending on how much it's worth, sometimes we let them. I've seen all sorts. The reds, the greens, the blues. Occasionally the silvers. I have never seen gold before. And three seals. What on earth is this? I get the feeling... I get the feeling this shouldn't be out in the open. You say it's for the sorceress? What does she need with? Are you sure it is safe to be wrapped up in all of this? Alright. Well. Here, you've made a mess of yourself and I think you could use this towel. While you write your letter, I'm just going to tidy up a little bit. Just let me know when you're done. Is Ed going to take it? 
Okay. Yeah, I can get some treats for him too. I just... Something about this just seems... Why be on that bed great, so... Alright, you just get to wrap that letter then. quick. I understand. You got the scroll for her. I thought you were going there to get answers for you. So you did. Doesn't seem very helpful. <sighs> Cordelia, I cannot help but think. You're not gonna make it through before this is all over. Keep going to all these crazy places, doing all these crazy things. Helping all these crazy people. To what end? Why can't you just settle down and find a nice home somewhere and... Stay safe for once. Let somebody else take care of you. No, listen, I've got a quest for if we can find you just a nice, simple, calm quest. It's maybe a little bit safer. Here, see? Right here. Well, I can't read that one. Um, I think that's in... It's different language or something. Um, that one's completed, it looks like. That, uh, that was the one with the dragon in the south. Yeah, they took care of that one, I heard. Um, okay, so the other two says, um, okay, so Dr. Fabus wants a test subject. Um, says she'll pay three gold per trial. Sounds like it could be fun. Still relatively dangerous, if I'm being honest, but, um... Okay, no, not that one, then. You could be a caravan guide. Looks like it's ten gold per trip back and forth you got. Contact Carl. You're not much one for land, I know that. There's one here about a lost chicken. It says, If found, please return to Imelda. Please. I love her. She'll pay five gold. Not you. Telling you to stay safe and dry on land is like telling 
Melba's checking to come home. Oh no. I, just, I care about you. I'm worried about you. I just want you safe. But I also want you happy. I know, I know asking you to be something you're not. That's not fair. I know I can't keep you here. <laughs> Wouldn't be right. Tell you what, I won't just stay for the night. I'll give you my finest room upstairs. I can get that seaweed out of your hair. Bake you some fresh spice cake in the morning to take. I promised last time that I would. By the way, thank you for sending Ed with those supplies. <laughs> All right, then. Well, let me go get those pillows left for you. We'll get you set up upstairs, then. Okay. You want any more that drink?